So having established that our data is normally distributed, uh, we can start to analyze it further. And in this example, we're going to look at uh, some relationships between tests or rather some, some correlations. Uh, that is, do uh, people that uh, score uh, highest in uh, one test, do they also score highest in the other? So for example, do the strongest people uh, also uh, jump the highest and run the fastest? Identifying trends like that are really uh, useful, really good for, uh, for training. Um, if we establish that jump height and speed are very important to the sport and we relate that back to strength, then that's important information for their training programs and uh, the justification to the coach regarding some of the strength and conditioning practices that, that we might have. So uh, to uh, look at these uh, relationships, we're going to go into analyze. We're going to correlate, we're going to bivariate, so as in by two variate two variables. And uh, again, we're now in interested in the, in the best scores for each athlete. And we're going to highlight and stick the whole thing uh, across. Leave it checked on Pearson's, that's the type of correlation that, that we're running. If the data was uh, non-parametric, then we could uh, check some of the other options, maybe Spearman's correlation. But we have nice normal uh, data that's uh, parametric data and that's it we just press OK our output looks as follows so we have uh, each test compared uh, to the others of course all these ones are where we get a perfect correlation because the test is compared to itself so the closer the test uh, um, uh, correlation is to one the more perfect the score and we have our n number uh, here. This is the amount of this is the sample size, and here we have our significance for the correlation uh, to to uh, be deemed significant and to not have occurred by chance. Then the significance value must be less than 0 0.05. Okay, so that's a significant correlation between acceleration, semi acceleration, and 30 meter speed, uh, one that you'd expect to find. Uh, we also have correlations between uh, pro agility score uh, and acceleration um, and counter movement jump. Uh, and we also have a correlation here uh, when we express force um, per kilogram of mass. Okay, but we don't have a, a correlation here because it's greater than 0 0.05 when we just express peak force. And we can look at the, the, the correlations across uh, the other variables as well. So uh, for counter movement jump and how that relates. Again, we have two teams and here we've just analyzed the data as, uh, as one big data set. If we wanted to analyze the data uh, uh, per team, then um, we would go into data, we would go into split file, and we would just uh, ask SPSS to organize the output per team. So now we're going to get the same results, but separated by a team. So then analyze. That's just telling me that here that um, it's gone ahead and done that function I asked it to do. Analyze, correlate, bivariate. We can just leave it as is because uh, SPSS will do the rest for us. And here we have the blue team and we have the green team, and we have the individual correlations uh, for each team across the same tests.